Hi and welcome back to my video series about frequently asked questions about embodied emissions. I'm Barbara Albert, co-CEO of 100% Renewables, a consultancy specializing in the development of climate action strategies. In my last video I explained the difference between operational and embodied emissions. In this video I'll be talking about who in the supply chain accounts for emissions. Scope 3 or supply chain emissions are by definition the direct emissions of another organization, which means that your scope 3 emissions are someone else's scope 1 and scope 2 emissions. If everyone in your supply chain accounted for and balanced their scope 1 and scope 2 emissions, you wouldn't need to address your scope 3 emissions. However, it will be a while yet before everyone accounts for their greenhouse gas emissions. So many leading organizations are electing to take responsibility for their most significant scope 3 emissions themselves, rather than wait for this to occur. If it happens that both you and your upstream suppliers are accounting for emissions, then both you and your suppliers can work on reducing these emissions, with each of you having different abatement levers available. There are many advantages of developing a supply chain greenhouse gas inventory because you will better understand your overall emissions profile, including from upstream and downstream activities. Understanding your scope 3 emissions can help you plan for potential carbon price regulations and guide your procurement decisions and product design. It also allows you to communicate to your stakeholders the potential impacts of these emissions and your planned actions to reduce your greenhouse gas emissions and risks. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Please like the video and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.